Yeah, Mission Impossible 2 rhyme, bro. Let me just put on my Limp Biscuit. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, bro. Limp Biscuit time. Let's watch Mission Impossible 2. Fucking love Fred Durst. <laughs> Hey guys, this is our review for Mission <laughs> Impossible 2. You may be wondering why we decided to review it. Mm. No real excuse. We just were... We were talking about the Mission Impossible movies at work a few weeks ago, and then we for some reason got on the tangent of how douchey number two was. It's not a douche canoe, it's a douche cruise ship. Because it's Mission Impossible 2. Cruise control. <laughs> and we were just going through the music, and holy fuck. Fuck. And the fact that it's the still the most money making one of these fucking movies that there is, which is ridiculous. It was it's the just, highest grossing movie of the year, of 2000, which is uh, this movie has 2000 all, all over, over it. it. Oh, God. It's got a Kodak camera, memory card, 32 megabytes. Oh, People God. could actually listen to Limp Biscuit without throwing up in their mouth. Rob right. Zombie was relevant. Rob Zombie's still relevant, just not as a music guy anymore. Um, John Woo did this one, and I'm like, John oh, Woo, bro. I'm, I'm personally a huge John Woo fan. I, I like some of his stuff too. I school movies like the dudes Broken Mates, Arrow, movies, Face yeah, Off, Hard Boiled. His early movies yeah. here and his Chinese movies. And I'll have to admit, as, yeah, Paycheck, <laughs> Paycheck's not as bad. It's not, as bad it's, as it's it. not terrible. You probably hate it, but it's not that bad. Yeah, <laughs> and the funny thing is, this movie is ridiculous. It is stupid. The plot doesn't make any fucking sense when you actually sit and think about it. But <laughs> honestly. The last, like the first Mission Impossible movie, and maybe the th third one actually makes sense. But aside from that, all the other ones really yeah, no, never no. made sense. And the first one only makes sense if you have like six and a half hours to like go <laughs> through and understand what the fuck you were watching. And so, that's a complicated and movie. So this one, like the first one's obviously a spy thriller. This one just goes straight out woo. Yeah, so I'm, like literally. Like, I made the joke because apparently John Woo has a uh, three and a half hour cut of this movie is what he turned in. And I made the joke that they didn't actually cut anything, they just sped up all the slow-mo. <laughs> oh, and there's still so much slow motion in this movie. Yeah, there's Pigeons, a bunch. Dodge, like, when he walks by that, like... There's this by, a giant pri uh, priory in Spain or Mexico, it, well, and they just, they hold on it for like a minute of him just like walking. Into the slowly ocean. walking with his hair, slightly that long cruise, Mission Impossible 2 hair, <laughs> motorcycles and guns and shit. <laughs> and, and a soundtrack that is based on dude, like dude, Metallica, dude, Limp Bizkit, Godsmack, Rob Zombie. Uh, oh, it's terrible. But it's an enjoyable terrible. I like That's, this it's movie. It's always this been is, an enjoyable it's movie. It's just a fun movie. Like I watched it so uh, many man. fucking times when I was like 13 <laughs> he, he, years he old. He was like reciting lines. I was reciting coming. lines because I, I remember I, watching my VHS copies. So I, didn't, I didn't watch this movie that many times. I remember watching I saw it in theaters for sure. And I remember like having a bunch of people over at my girlfriend's place and we like tried to watch it, but we just could not focus on it at all. <laughs> no, you can't. And then you're actually watching with other people. Bought it, like we watched my DVD copy I don't, um, that I oh. bought when I was like working at Rogers Video in like 2005. Still have like the previously viewed sticker hey, on it. You know what? There's at least one very good thing that came into this movie. Duggery Scott chose to be the villain in this movie instead yeah, of Wolverine. Instead of being Wolverine. And so we got yeah. Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Yeah. So. And Duggery Scott can't play a good guy. Uh, that yeah. dude looks sinister. Like, <laughs> am I right, Jacket Pocket? <laughs> Hunt would rather go through the roof. Oh, and there's, no, there's enough. Like, oh, there's. Wow. It's a Scooby Doo wow. fucking <laughs> compilation video of this movie. This people and pulling funny enough, stuff. though, that still works. Like for 2000s it, they, uh, effects, the effects look yeah, it fine. looks. It like, looks like an actual mask being taken off. But uh, John Woo didn't get enough of that face. Off yeah, was, from Face Off. So he's like, I need more faces. Off. I want so many. Well, I guess I'm, I'm a huge John. John Woo kicks no. ass. That guy does. I would have loved to have seen what a harder edge version. of Yeah, that was. The, I don't know what he was cut. thinking it was, though. It was made no R-rated. Yeah, there's no there's way. There's no there. fucking way. Well, mind you, Face Off was R. Broken Arrows R. Yeah, but John Woo's making R movies. Mission Impossible does not make R movies. Well, no, <laughs> but at the time, I think this is really when that PG-13 garbage was starting to kind of come in. Yeah, and they were they, cracking down on yeah, and they, and things. they start. I mean, it literally, you watch this movie and, like That's knowing that they cut a bunch of stuff. Like there's scenes where like guys get shot, and it actually looks like the frame has moved over yeah. because like the guy like the the shot comes in of him like uh, half 
half out of frame already when it's moving. Cause it's just like, it starts uh, here. Yeah, here. it's just not, you can tell they, they chopped this but to shit. It but still has a lot of woo elements. Like at one point when the gunfight starts in the tower, that goon, no reason at all, he's not even a villain, he's not even a face villain, he comes in sliding right, on his ass. Like, already sliding, shooting, it's great. It's like, woo! And then, like, everything Wu does is like, what would look fucking cool, cool. right now? Or that twirl, when he does that twirl for It makes little whip like, sounds! <laughs> it's literally making like, <laughs> when Tom Cruise is spinning around. And, oh. It's not a good movie, but it is by God, enjoyable. Yeah, you can watch it and just. I kind of feel the same way about the whole Mission Impossible series. Honestly, like none of them are very good, and I don't remember. I mean, they're all the same plot line, like, but it doesn't matter because I don't remember what it no, is. No, you ever. don't remember the plot lines. You and just remember it's how... just cool action scenes. Yeah, like, exactly. And, and like one of the trivia things I was looking at said, like John Woo just basically like wrote down all the action sequences he wanted to do, and they wrote a movie around it. <laughs> yeah, like basically. that's that's what Mission Impossible no. should be. I no. mean, it should that's, be. That's Mission Impossible. No, that's exactly what the fifth one is. But Mission Impossible should be a spy thing, like the first one oh, was. But that didn't do it's well definitely enough. Definitely the and people most complained spy about it being complicated. I, I, I would say this is definitely the most spy like. This is definitely Woo trying to do a James oh, Bond yeah, movie. Oh yeah, it's Woo's. If he it's did a James Bond movie. It's, yeah, it's definitely they that's have freaking, more. It's actually kind of, there's more spy -y stuff that I kind of remember. Yeah. Like I basically only remembered the action bits out of this movie. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. people ripping masks over and over again. There's, yeah, there, there's that whole, <laughs> the element with the Chimera virus and everything. But and like, Raid. Raid. Yeah, Savage yeah, Boris, he's in it. fucking Russian guy. Bullet, Who's just been in Russia. Boris the everything. Bullet Dodgers. All Boris the Bullet. Don't take a piece, Boris. Oh, there you go. Three times. If he cuts that, he tried that three times before he fucked it up. Or good for you, all right? <laughs> Alright, so in the end, if you were to rate this, I, I give I give Mission Impossible 2 a 2. A I, I, I mean, yeah, it <laughs> deserves a 2, but I, mean, I, think, I think I'd go in pure enjoyment, that's gotta be a 3 or a 4. Uh, it deserves a 2. But. Uh, see, this, like, it's, it's just so I It's funny, because I watched it so many times Part as a kid. Part of me kind of wants to see a 3.5 hour version of yeah, it. Yeah, like all, like, all, all the blood With like all the blood and like a coherent end, story. All the... <laughs> Because it's just, oh man. But definitely, this is at the point when Wu and Cruz were at the height of the Oh, yeah. Egos. Well, this, yeah. I mean, you could tell the whole movie. Well, let's like, say Cruz had just made a movie called Vanilla Sky that raked in $200 million, and damn, still no really? one knows what that movie's about. <laughs> so, yeah, no. Cruz and Wu, they make, they make something incredible in this movie, but at the same time, it's an incredible disaster. Oh, yeah. It's. It's not good, but, but it's fun. It's I fun. Like, I it like is it. definitely down. fun. It's dumb. I, I want to say, Michael Bay couldn't make a movie like this. Michael Bay would have had more explosions. Yeah, you had way uh, more the, explosions. When the SUV flipped over. Oh yeah, all those cars would blow. Yeah, up. Like, <laughs> like the like all the stunt sequences are still really rad, even though they're dumb. Like that friggin' bike scene. The bike scene is the by far the dumbest fucking thing of all time. And yet, jump you off. You can like use your monitor and shoot you just by looking in the monitor. Oh yeah, this is how. Like, what's he's on the bike and he looks in the rearview mirror. It's like this. It's freaking great. It's freaking great. That's just our random little review. Mark and I are about to do a radio show about that, so I thought that we could do it. I'm probably put a link to the podcast of the show in the link, uh, sorry, in the description below. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this little random review, and uh, we're off to do the radio show now. So we'll see you guys later. Fredgers! <laughs> <laughs>